KJ was born with an incredibly severe, ultra rare disease called CPS1 deficiency. And over the past nine months since he was born, we've crafted a personalized therapy designed to correct one of his specific genetic changes that make him sick. And we were able to make the therapy and give KJ the first dose when he was between six and seven months of age. We're happy to share that he's received three doses of the therapy without any complications, and he's showing some early signs of benefit. In all honesty, all milestones that he's reaching or like developmental moments that he's reaching show us that things are working because like we talked about earlier in the conversation, the prognosis for him was very different before we started talking about gene editing and the infusions. Um, we were talking more about like comfort care, liver transplant, and high, you know, very severe delays due to the ammonia buildup and the damage that that could bring. Um, so anytime we see even the smallest milestone that he's meeting, like like a little wave or rolling over, that's a big moment for us because six, seven months ago, we were having very different conversations of what that may look like. And when we had met with Dr. Irons Nicholas, um, I had a very profound feeling about this this gene editing that which was such a foreign concept i mean still <laughs> is a very foreign concept but at the time um and and to dr aaron's credit she was so humble in the way she was telling us about this um extraordinary thing that was essentially going to possibly save and enhance our child's life